you know what to say. I think we, I need to chat with you guys. Um, I feel like in the last couple of vlogs, um, maybe I felt like a bit distant from you guys. That's probably because I felt a bit distant or like detached, dissociated. How do I go about this? Like life, life has been really good to me, but in the interim there's also been like some really hard stuff that has happened and that is still kind of ongoing that I haven't spoken to you guys about like in depth and I don't think I will just because there's other people involved and there's just some stuff that I'm not gonna share online but I feel almost like I've been like not that I've been dishonest but I feel like yeah two two things can be true at the same time like as much as I've been happy and like excited for certain things that are progressing in my life there's a lot of things that have like gone backwards and I feel like I I keep putting on this like front of like everything's amazing and I'm doing all this cool stuff but like what you guys don't see is that for a lot of the days where I'm not vlogging I literally just sit on my sofa at home all day um like completely detached not wanting to do anything not even like showering um you know there's just been some shitty things happening it's coming up to a year that my doggo would have passed away I, uh, I don't know people have done me dirty i've been treated badly you know people that i've given everything to that claim to love me people that you would expect to treat me correctly haven't and i think it's just all come to like a head because it's been over like years and years and years um and there's been a couple of recent situations that have just kind of knocked me off my feet and so i'm just like struggling to pick up the camera i'm struggling to like i just feel like i don't have anything to say or share i feel like i'm like struggling to enjoy things that i would usually enjoy at the moment I've had like a few kind of like panic attacks. I usually like can push through it and stuff, but things have just been like crazy at the moment. I, s I mentioned like briefly in a vlog that I went to Paris and you guys know that I've been wanting to go to Paris for like obviously since before COVID, um, but certain situations meant that I had to stay here COVID, like my dad obviously being here and just trying to protect him. Um, and the reason I wanted to go to Paris was to see my grandma because she had Alzheimer's and yeah, I just wanted to see her. Um, so I went recently and the, I actually went on International Women's Day um, and the day I went, she passed away before I got to see her. Um, so... I've been dealing with that, but what a G for um, <laughs> passing away on International Women's Day. Of course she would do that. So yeah, I went to Paris for a few days thinking that I was going to see her, but I never got to. And then I came back for maybe like a week and then I went back for a week for the funeral and stuff. I'm just glad I got to be there for my granddad and like actually go at least be there for her funeral. It was like as ho as horrible as it was, it brought the family back together, which was nice because we haven't seen each, like a lot of us haven't seen each other for years. I got to see my cousin who I haven't seen for like, I can't even tell you how many years. So yeah, I just wanted to like fill you guys in a bit. I mean, there's been some other stuff going on as well. Yeah, I just had some information given to me that i really didn't want to hear but that's a whole different situation basically <laughs> that's why i've been so like distant i think because i just have not really been all there like the flat's a mess i've been trying to get out and get the sun because it's been quite nice out here i've just been trying to do things to make myself like heal and to let myself grieve and yeah i've just been doing the bare minimum like obviously i've had contracted jobs that i've had to vlog for and it just feels exhausting like 
it has felt exhausting like not being able to like talk about this stuff and having to pick up a camera when I don't really feel like it but I, like I said I want to try and like be more open and like vulnerable with you guys which I'm also struggling with because I feel like anytime I've been vulnerable people just have taken advantage of it um but I need to like push past it uh <laughs> I definitely need to get therapy because there's definitely like a lot of trauma from certain situations that I need to work through and I think I need help with it so I'm yeah I think I'm gonna try like online therapy first I've seen like loads of people use better help I know people personally that have used it so I think I'm gonna try that but um so, oh, I'm so sorry to start the vlog off on such a bad uh like a negative note but I just feel like I need to address maybe why I've felt like a bit distant or like the vlogs haven't really been that like what's the word I'm looking for like they haven't really had much to them I've just like showed you things that I've done and not really like spoken to you like personally one-on-one -on -one kind of um how I usually do um but I just haven't had it in me but yeah I just wanted to come on and not explain myself but just let you guys know what's been going on because I don't want to feel like I'm letting you down or that I don't want you guys to think that I've just I'm just like throwing shitty vlogs out there with no like substance um I just feel like I don't have any anything to share at the moment um also like being in this flat has been kind of difficult as well because of all the things that have happened I've come here like kind of on a negative note like it's an amazing flat um but it still doesn't feel like home um obviously I don't have much of my stuff here um but I hired a van went to storage to pick up some clothes bags and a few bits I've got all my spices in the cupboard now so I can start making some proper meals so maybe I'll make it like a food video I went to Ikea I got some drawers because I need some more clothing storage I've got my rail here so I'm gonna maybe do that today I might build the drawers today because it's a super gloomy day I just need to like start doing things that are gonna make me feel better because otherwise I will just sit on the sofa all day and not do anything and like just like make myself feel worse and I'm just not here for it anymore. I straightened my hair because it's so much less effort and I, it just made me feel a bit better. Um, I need to give my hair a trim as well. So maybe I'll show you guys how I do that. I just follow a Brad Mondo tutorial. I think I say this every time. So I'll link that down below. Um, but yeah, if I am not super talkative, I hope that kind of explains why. I know I didn't really like say much, but that's just the way I want to keep it for now and I hope you guys will respect that um but yeah I think it's going to be super gloomy for like the next week so expect like more at home vlogs um I've got to do work stuff as well oh my god um but yeah I'll show you guys I don't know if I've shown you but we've got my mirror back which is great we've got a plant <laughs> um and then I've got the Ikea stuff here ready to build i just got those same white drawers but i got like the long one with six like three drawers and three drawers um there's a ton of clothing bags here and then it's dark in here isn't it got a ton more here and here i've got some more prints um got another mirror hello i've also got Oh, I nearly showed you my baby. I've got a hot water bottle wrapped around me because my period's coming. Whoop, whoop, which doesn't help the way I'm feeling already, but we move. I'm knackered, but I'm going to try and do what I can in terms of like sorting out some clothes. What's really cool about this building is they, it, downstairs where the bins are, there's like a clothing bin. That means it's going to be much easier for me to be able to just get rid of stuff because I have so much like it's long to take it to like a charity shop or whatever without a car um so that's really useful and it's gonna mean that I can get rid of a load of weight um in terms of like clothing and stuff which is awesome 
I also got my, my board with P on it for my PJ, for my baby. It's really nice to have that in here. It is feeling a little bit more homely with a few more of my bits in here. Um, but yeah. I wanted to pick up the camera because I feel like the longer that I don't pick it up, the longer it's gonna continue for. And that's definitely not something I wanna do because I love I love like sharing my life with you and vlogging and interacting with you guys um, and I love this little community that we have going on, you guys are amazing. So I'm just gonna try and force myself to pick up and like share whatever's going on rather than just like avoiding and then picking up the camera and pretending everything's been fine. Okay guys, I am filming a TikTok for Valentino Beauty and I've just tried on this lipstick in the shade. It doesn't tell me. <gasps> oh, it just fell out of the package. Oh no. Oh no. I've messed it all up now, haven't I? Anyway, I don't know what this shade is. I'll try and find it online. It doesn't look as dark on camera as it is in real life, but damn. This is so cute with like a nude eye and dark hair. I'm obsessed. It's so beautiful. I'll link it down below. I know I'll be able to find it. But yeah, I'm gonna continue doing this. I just had to stop to show you because I'm gonna wipe it off. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh my God, I found my earring. Stop it! I don't know where the back of it is though. Yeah, I told you when I lost it. Good morning guys. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I am tired. Yeah, we were woken up at like 5 a.m. this morning by like a storm. The weather has been insane. Raining so freaking hard. Like the rain was raining, smacking against the window. I live pretty high up. So the wind on the levels that I'm at, the flat feels like it's moving, like the building's creaking. It's pretty scary, but it's also very loud. We had a bit of broken sleep and yeah, st still on my period. <laughs> That TikTok, guess who's on her period? Me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, 
I'm feeling disjointed. To be honest, I've been super tired. I haven't really been able to do much. What you've seen in the vlogs is basically all I've done for the last two days. So I built, I, I built the rail, which is still just here. And then I just gave up for that day. Watched Married at First Sight Australia for the rest of the day. And then the day after that, I went to the gym in the morning. I was like, yeah, right, I've, I've got today. Came home, watched Married at First Sight Australia for the rest of the day. And then yesterday I had to film a TikTok for a, like a brand. So I did that and then watched Married at First Sight Australia for the rest of the day. <laughs> so today I've got up and I've got ready. It is Thursday today and on Saturday I'm having my first party in the flat. It is my boyfriend's birthday next week so we are having a little shindig for him on Saturday um, and the flat is not ready. So my intention was to get up, go to the gym, that's not happening this morning because of the weather i just didn't want to walk to the gym also we're supposed to go into town to get stuff for the party the weather just said no today and yeah i still need to build those ikea drawers i've come to the realization that i don't have my toolbox in this flat and i don't want to do the, the ikea stuff manually it just feels so long and my hands cramp i swear i feel like i've got like early onset arthritis both my parents have it so it is a possibility so yeah i don't want to build it manually but i also don't want to buy another set of tools when i've already got some in storage so however my other half is currently asleep on the sofa because he's knackered <laughs> he's been over training and obviously last night we didn't get the best sleep so i'm just kind of sitting in the bedroom watching videos which is not something i should be doing at least i'm not on social media this morning i'm really trying to like not go on my phone and go on instagram and tiktok until later on in the day or even just not doing it because it is so bad for my mental health which is not great at the moment anyway so yeah i'm just waiting for him to be up because I want to build it in the living room because that's where it's going to go, the drawers. And I'm not dragging it from the bedroom to the living room. So yeah, that is basically what's happening this morning. I say this morning, it's like 5 to 12 now. So I'm just waiting for my 12 o'clock alarm to go. And I'm going to post an Instagram and then probably try and wake him up. Because I'm bored. But yeah, that is the update. I have done nothing for the last few days. And that is what I've needed to do. I hope you guys are holding up. I know how it feels to be in a very weird place. I just want you guys to know that it's okay if you're not having a good day or a good like time in general right now. Just gotta keep pushing and remember that like things do get better. There's no light without dark. I'm gonna go watch more YouTube. Okay, bye. <laughs> that made it so much more difficult because of where it was on my hand, but I can do it. I'm gonna be paying the woman. Look at this. Well, it looks like we're gonna need to buy a hammer and a screwdriver. I have to say, I'm not looking forward to this as much as I usually do. Usually I just want to get straight down to the nitty gritty. But today, I'm not able to do that, am I? <laughs> but it's not funny though, is it? <laughs> We've only gone and ordered a cheeky little pie minster. I wanna do some ASMR for you. I have just been to the gym. Got my purple. Not gonna lie, I feel like I'm gonna pass out, but it's fine. Before that happens, I just wanted to show you some bits that I've picked up recently. I got some clothes to try on. They're from a French brand called Manière de Voir. I actually saw the trousers on Madison Sarah, and I was like, oh my god, I need those. And then I had a little look through the website and saw a few more pieces that I had to pick up. So I thought I'd do like a little try on and show you guys the pieces. I'm hoping they all fit. I got an extra small, I think, in the trousers, like a six. These leather, like, scrunchy things are oh, right there. Well, cool, so I'm gonna give them a go. I wish you could see what's going on behind the camera right now. I'm getting ripped to shreds. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I don't know if these are gonna fit. I never know what size I am. Oh, wait, no, I think they'll be all right. They're kind of stretchy. Oh, they fit perfect. They actually fit perfectly. Damn. This never happens. <gasps> Okay, that's shake good. Wait, I'll put the top on as well. So I've been looking for like a body harness kind of corsety vibe thing for a while, but I haven't found one I liked. And then I saw this top and I thought it was really cute. I really like the name of the brand as well, because manière de voir means like the way you look at things, like your perspective on things, which is quite cool, quite a cool name. Ooh. Okay, okay. <laughs> is it good? 
cute old Emma. That is so cute. It's gonna look even better when I've got more little additions going on. Yeah, so basically, on the topic of tattoos, I've booked in, it's a treat to myself for my birthday. Basically, I wanted to get one two specific tattoos for ages, one for my nan and one for my mum. And there's this tattoo artist that I followed for ages that is from Australia, but she's doing like a, she's guesting for like two weeks in a tattoo shop in London. And when I saw that, I was like, dang, I need to, I need to jump on that. And I basically like impulsively booked a <laughs> sticker sleeve. So <laughs> basically it would be 10 or more deciding, d depending on the tattoo size, tattoos. So basically, like, by the end of July, <laughs> it's gonna go from one to, like, 11 tattoos. But it's great, because it's... The person that's doing it is somebody I've wanted to get tattooed by for ages. And I know they're gonna be sick. And I have loads of little ones that I want to get, so... Yeah, it kind of works out great, to be honest. What do we think, guys? I'll link this stuff down below. I can't believe how well it fits. The quality is really nice as well. Oh, I need to show you the trousers properly. There's a lot of shit on the floor, but we'll just ignore that for now. Oh, that is so cool. Look at the state of my hair. Anyway, I got one more thing. And I've wanted one of these kind of jumpers slash cardigans for ages, but like a nice one. My only thing is there was only an extra small left. And I usually, I usually go for like baggier stuff when it's like jumpers and that. But the model on the website was wearing an extra small one. It looked kind of oversized and it looked like it fit really nice on her. So I thought I would just, you know, wing it and see what happens. If it, if it don't work, it don't work. If it does, fantastical. I'm going to try this on now for you guys. The quality of this stuff is so nice. I like it a lot. Even the eggs they are uh, in rubber very nice uh, little detail you know it's the little things they are important okay my battery's dying but this is the hoodie the zips can like go up and down so you can kind of wear it however you want i've just got a big like shredded hood and this is the extra small so i'd say it is kind of oversized but i'm obsessed okay i'm gonna go eat because my brain is not functioning anymore and it's got if I'm looking a little bit browner than usual, that's because I am. I just came off of a sunbed. I had to do it. I was just looking ghostly and I needed a little boost. I just went on for 10 minutes, but the tan lines are real. I don't know if it's showing as much on camera. But yeah, since I last saw you, the day I was trying on the clothes, we had a party on Saturday. It was so much fun. But yeah, Saturday morning I woke up, I baked a carrot cake for the first time. And I think it looked kind of wild, but kind of rustic in a good way. In the end, it turned out okay. And it is so delicious. And then yeah, went out, we set up the flat. I went and got some like balloons and stuff done for my boyfriend as well, which is so cool. I wish I'd got some footage of the flat when it was dark though, cause we had like two galaxy projector kind of things going on. We had a sunset lamp going on. It just looked so cool that, you know, we were just living in the moment. We didn't actually get any footage really, not even for Instagram, but it was such a good night. Also managed to quickly wrap and bag up all his presents before he got back from a trip to Costco with all the like party food which was so lucky because I just I didn't know if he'd end up walking in on me doing it but it all went to plan because we were long distance for so long it was kind of easier to keep things hidden or whatever but now it's like we're together all the time it's really difficult to keep surprises but yeah had such an amazing night he had a great time and i was so happy to see like all the people that he loves and all the people that love him be able to come together and just celebrate him the next day we got up i was feeling fine i to be honest i don't even think i drank that much i think i maybe had like two or three drinks which is surprising for me um so i was feeling pretty fresh just a bit tired because we went to bed quite late but we ended up building the ikea drawers together my lovely boyfriend actually she ended up going home to get like stuff for his birthday party so he came with a toolkit so we could finally build the drawers and he helped me which was so nice because you guys know I'm always building stuff by myself so yeah we got that done pretty quick it was fun we did not argue which is a great sign <laughs> no red flags there that's all we've done really since the party just built the drawers we chilled all day and then in the evening we went down to the gym had a quick workout i did a full body session didn't want to do it but i felt so good afterwards and i had such a good sleep and then yeah today i've just been editing the vlog went for a tan and then i've just got a prep for la familia today i've got to clear out all of the bags of clothing from the spare bedroom because my mum and her husband are coming either tomorrow or wednesday to stay for a couple of days which is so exciting because they haven't 
been up to Manchester ever and obviously I haven't seen them since I went to France. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because it is pretty long already, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, if any of you guys are going through it at all in the same way I am, in any other way, I'm sending you guys all my positive vibes, good vibes, all my love. I hope it gets better soon. It will. I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but it will. I am rooting for you. If you want to chat in the comments, I am here. I am reading all the comments. I'm going to go because I've got so many things I need to do in my head that I can't focus on anything else right now. I love you guys and I will see you guys all in the next one. Until next time. Bye. Mwah.